What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Camp. Today I'm going to teach you the absolute basics of Space Engineers. I have, this is three episodes into our Space Camp series and I still haven't talked about the absolute basics and I've had a lot of you guys asking about them. So let's go over the absolute basics. How many times can I say absolute basics in a few seconds? Let's go over the absolute basics. So the first thing we're going to talk about in Space Engineers is movement. So movement is standard W, S, A, D. So you press W to go forward, S to go backwards, D to go right, and A to go left. If you want to jump, you press space, and if you want to crouch, you press C. Now these these uh, these movements are also emulated when you uh, when you want to use your jetpack as well. So if you press X, that'll turn on your jetpack, and you can fly around. Pressing space, you go up. Pressing C, you go down, just like jump and crouch. But pressing L, uh, W, you go forward. Pressing S, you go backwards. D, you go right, and A you go left. But there are also two more controls with the jetpack. There's Q and E. Q will rotate you to your left and E will rotate you to your right. There's a couple more things with the jetpack. First of all, the jetpack uses hydrogen. You'll see that our hydrogen bar is going down at the bottom. Once we run out of hydrogen, we will fall out of the sky like that. Uh, so what I did there is I just turned off my jetpack to show you what falling out of the sky looks like. If you want to replace your hydrogen, you're going to have to find, um, you're going to have to refer to episode one of the space camp. I don't know if they're episoded, but uh, there's one about uh, talking about the, with the medical bay and getting hydrogen set up there. So that's how you replace your hydrogen as well. Uh, there's a speed indicator in your bottom left. It shows your meters per second. And as you go forward, that goes up. And as you slow down, that goes down. Uh, it doesn't go into the negative. It's a speed indicator, not a velocity indicator. So... Uh, so that's what you can see to see how fast you're going. In standard Space Engineers, the maximum speed is 100 meters per second. So keep that in mind. If you go too fast, you will die when you hit the ground. Uh, there's another thing with the jetpack called inertia dampeners. When you press Z, that turns that off. Inertia dampeners essentially keep you in place. So right now I'm not pressing anything. That's the inertia dampeners. I can press W and release. It'll stop me automatically. That's the inertia dampeners. If I press Z, it turns them off. I fall out of the sky. So now you can see me uh, going up. When I release, it starts dropping me. So it's it's essentially, it's not trying to keep me anywhere. Uh, we're running out of hydrogen. Let me go grab some more and I'll be right back. It's important to note that the inertia dampeners make it way easier to fly. You can fly around to wherever you want. Once you turn them off, it's a, it's a bit more difficult to fly around. But it does conserve a bit more fuel since you don't have to stop uh, in place every time you want to turn around or anything. But like I said, it's way more difficult to fly. So make sure you get used to it if you want to turn off your inertia dampeners. The next thing we're going to talk about are some basic controls in Space Engineers that you might come across or you might want to come across. The first one is going to be third person. If you press V, as in Victor, you'll go into third person. If you hold Alt while you're in third person, you'll be able to look around your character. You can see what they're doing. This is very useful if you're in a ship or if you just want to uh, see around what you're doing without actually turning. If you hold Alt while zooming out with the scroll wheel, it will zoom out your uh, your view here and you can actually go quite far to see uh, all around your ship and that sort of thing the next aspect of the game we're going to talk about is oxygen and i talked about this a little bit in the med bay episode but we're going to talk about it a little bit more so you'll see our oxygen is going down now the reason for that is because we have our helmet on we don't need our helmet on inside the earth's atmosphere so we can press j to turn off our helmet now it's fine if you keep your helmet on it's it doesn't really matter eventually your oxygen is going to get critical and you'll have to go and uh, and refuel your oxygen or take off your helmet Otherwise, you'll start to take damage. So press J to take off your helmet, and then you're no longer using oxygen. If you get caught in a dark place and need to see a little bit of light, press L to turn on the light. Pretty intuitive. You used a lot in uh, different games, but that'll help you out. <laughs> they recently changed the flashlight as well. Now we have two little circles instead of one, so that's pretty awesome. One button you might accidentally press and have no clue what you're doing is if you press tab uh, to open your inventory. Now that's not going to work because the inventory open button is I. That'll open your inventory. But if you press tab, it does something different. It turns off your HUD if you press it twice. If you press it one more time, your HUD's back on. If you press it another time, not sure what that one does, but press it a third time, your HUD's off. So if you ever notice your HUD off and you want to turn it back on, just press tab and your HUD will come back on. Once again, I is how you enter your inventory and how you move things around and that sort of thing. Uh, this little thing right here is to drop items in case you want to do that. You can if you want. Another button you might accidentally press is H. Now, uh, H is the signal button. It changes how signals are displayed. If you press H once, uh, signals are fully visible. Press it again. There are no names there. Press it again. They're completely off. Press it again. There they are again. So if you don't want to see signals, uh, you can do it like that. And then if you want to see them, you just press H and they're back. So uh, that's how signals work. You might accidentally press that. And if you notice there are no signals, just press H and they'll be right back. Finally, let's talk about building in Space Engineers. Building is a bit complicated in this game, and it's it's something that a lot of people have trouble figuring out how to do, uh, aside from all the connecting of crazy things. But building in this game, uh, let's go over this, how to do it. So what I've done is I've wiped out my inventory. Now, the way this game works is there are toolbars. There are actually multiple toolbars. So you'll see on the bottom, in the center of the screen, there's toolbars that are blank. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and zero. And then below that, there's a smaller 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what are those smaller numbers? Well, those smaller numbers are sub inventories or are, are inventory pages, if you will. So if you press one, uh, well, actually, we don't have anything in there yet, so I can't show you. But if, if you press control one or control two, you'll go to the second page. Control three, you'll go to the third page. Control four, you'll go to the fourth page. And I'll, control one, you'll go back to the first page, that sort of thing. So you can have multiple pages of toolbars to help you find things that you want to use. Now, how do you add things to the toolbar? Well, to do that, you're going to press G. That's going to bring up this crazy menu with everything that exists in Space Engineers. So uh, what I've done here is I've actually taken off my tools that I want to use. So let's go back here. We're going to go to character tools. We're going to find the tools that we want to use. Uh, currently, the only ones I care about are the Elite Welder. We can drag that down to number one. And the Elite Grinder, we can drag that down to number two. Now, if you're starting out the game, you probably only have the Welder and the Grinder and the, uh, the Hand Drill as well. So make sure that those are in some easy to reach slots. The next thing we want to drag down is what we want to build. So today we're going to be building a steel plate, not a steel plate, but a block, a standard block, a base block. It's what our whole base is made out of. You can actually see it in the background. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to go to all blocks, click on light armor block and drag it down. We're going to drag it to the number three slot just because it's convenient. Uh, and, and to show off the pages, let's let's do control two so we can go to the next page. The other thing we're going to be building is we're going to be building a reactor. So let's search for this one since I don't actually see it right there. Uh, actually, I do. It's it's right here, but let's search for it anyway. Reactor. And there it is. We're going to be building a small reactor. We'll put it on the second uh, page of toolbars here. Let's go back to the first page, make sure we have everything we want. That looks like everything we want is there. So let's head out and we'll start building. So the first thing we're going to be building is a standard block. We have it right here. We can see on the right when we pull it out that we've got that we've got the materials it requires. You see steel plate 20 on the bottom and then steel plate 5 on the top. Now there are uh, there are meanings for why the, those aren't grouped together, and I'll tell you that in a second. But first, the first thing you need to know is if you want to build the, uh, if you want to place the item down, at least, right? There's there's a difference between placing an item down and actually building it up. So uh, if you want to place an item down, you need at least one of the bottom material. So steel plate is the bottom material, so we need at least one. Now let's look in our inventory. We have 330, so that, that, should, be, that should be enough. 330 is more than one, so let's place this down just by clicking. And there's our thing. Now you see it's not built up. It doesn't look like the rest of these things here. So this is our this is our uh, kind of our shell of the light armor block. Now if you look over to the side, we see the bottom item steel plate has one out of twenty. That's because it used up that one that I was talking about earlier. Uh, but to build this up, we need nineteen more plus five more. Now what are those five more? Well, if you look to the left side of that that little menu there, you see a functional line. Well, so the first the first 20 steel plates will make it so that that block is functional. It is now like a working block. So it will look like all these, but it, the rest, the, the other five are going to be extra armor. So if you shoot it, it's going to take away the armor first. So that's how if you shoot a block, it'll stay functional until that armor is depleted. So that's how that works. Now we have 330 steel plates. Let's go and build this up. To build this up, we're going to be using the welder, which you saw earlier we put in. So let's build it up. There we go. It's pretty fast, but <laughs> we built it up uh, properly. Now it looks like the rest of them. We can place a couple more, so we can place multiple, actually. Uh, let's just place a couple of these. We're going to weld this one up, weld that one up, and we'll fly up to weld this one just because it's uh, fast a little bit. Now, that was an easy example. Let's talk about something a little bit more complicated. We'll press Control 2 to go to our second page where we've stuck our reactor. Let's press 1. We'll grab our reactor. And now you see, to place this reactor, the bottom item is a steel plate. That means we need at least one steel plate to place this. As long as we have one steel plate, we can place as many of these as we want to, uh, even though they're not functional yet. Let's take these away. So the small reactor, what's, what's it, it's going to require a lot of stuff. It's going to require uh, 49 more steel plates, 40 more construction components, 4 more metal grids, uh, eight large steel tubes, reactor components, motors, computers, and steel plates. Now you'll note that the uh, the steel plates up at the top are actually past the functional level, so those are more armor, uh, in case you want to add armor there. So let's check our inventory to make sure we have all this. I guarantee you we have all this. I made sure of it before we started the episode, so let's go ahead and weld this up. Now if we weld it up a little, little by little, I don't know if we can get it there. We're, we're going to try to get it just above the functional level. There we go. Now it's a functional nuclear reactor. It'll work just like any of those ones over there that we built 
uh, earlier, even though it looks like it's not done. Well, it is It is sort of done. It's just not armored up. So if we, if we continue here, we'll armor it up, and that's how uh, that works. If you want to grind something down, you take out the grinder. The grinder is the opposite of the welder. It, it undoes what the welder does. Now, everything in Space Engineers, uh, save one thing, I'll tell you about that in a second. Everything in Space Engineers is a one-to-one -one ratio. So, if I grind down this nuclear reactor, I will get all of the materials from the reactor and I'll be able to place it and weld it with no problem. You get one-to-one -one materials, so I, I, I get all the materials back. Now, the only thing that that does not apply for, to my knowledge, the only thing that does not apply uh, to is the battery. Now the battery has power cells in it and you don't get those power cells back. Something about infinite energy, um, yeah, so you don't get power cells back. Definitely keep that in mind if you're ever placing batteries that you won't be able to undo them without losing those power cells. You have to make completely new power cells in order to use them. The last thing I want to talk about in Space Engineers is this is something, and this is something that I recently got acquainted with, uh, is, is that little plus that you see. If you look at the, um, if you look at the uh, at the bottom toolbar for number three, the what's it called? The block. It's got a little plus in the top right corner. If we press G to look at all of our things, we'll see that there are a lot of things with little pluses. Let's take some of those out. Uh, get some weird little plus things, and I'll show you what that does. So the weird little plus means that it's a bunch of items grouped into one. So we have a light armor block here. Let's get somewhere we can place it. That's a light armor block there. Uh, but since it has a plus there, we know that we can use the scroll wheel to get to more items. So let's scroll once. We've got that one right there. Let's scroll another time. We've got that. Let's scroll another time. We've got that. Let's scroll once more. We've got this. Let's scroll again. We've got this. And finally, let's scroll again. We're back to that block. Now, you can do the same thing with anything else that has a plus in it. We have an ion thruster here. So let's place that one. We'll scroll. Now we've got a big ion thruster. Let's scroll again. We're back to the small ones. This one only had two. Let's let's go to the, what's the next one? The hydrogen thruster. We've got pretty much the same deal. Small and big, just like that. And there's no other uh, other one like that. Uh, so that's that's how you do that. That's, how those, that's what those little pluses mean. And they save a lot of time. So even though uh, you'll see all those little pieces are, actually, are they here? Oh, no, I guess they've all been brought into here. They used to all be labeled out here. Like, they used to all be um, individual pieces, but I guess they're not anymore. They've changed that. Oh, no, okay, so right here you can actually pick the individual pieces as well, but it saves a lot of time to use the scroll wheel instead. You know, I said that was the last thing that I wanted to talk about, but there's one more very important thing with building, and that's rotating things. Now, to rotate uh, certain items, you use insert, delete, home, and page up and page down. That little section of keys, that's how you rotate things. And if you don't have those keys, uh, you're going to have to rebind the, um, the, the controls there so that you can actually rotate things. So uh, the way it works is if you press delete, Delete is a left turn, or, or kind of a rotate left to you. Uh, page down, on the other hand, is the right turn. So those are the uh, those are those are how you turn things uh, relative to you. Home is kind of a flip up. So there's a flip up. End is kind of a flip down. So just imagine these are arrow keys, and you're good. Now insert is kind of like a rotate weirdly. So it won't rotate like this, but it'll rotate like this. And, and uh, page up does the opposite of that. So it's kind of like a weird rotate. So if I turn it over, you can see what I mean. Kind of like this. Uh, so that's what those keys do. That's what insert and page up do. So home, end, delete, and page down are up, down, left, and right respectively. And then insert, uh, page up are like the Q and E for flying. So they, they, they do weird rotates. So you've got all these keys right here. Eventually you'll get used to it, but it might take some time. Uh, feel free to rebind those if you need to. So those are all the basics that I could come up with Space Engineers. Did I miss anything? If I did, post it down in the comments and I will, uh, I'll answer your request. I'll tell you how to do something. And I'm so sorry if I missed anything. It's just, it, I, I tried to think of things and that's all I could think of. So, um, but anyways, if you guys liked the video, hit that like button. Put any comments and suggestions down below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not. Also, we have a Discord server. Link to that is down in the description. We have tons of fun there. Make sure you put your suggestions for the next video down there. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next Space Camp video.